I believe Kedia. We are playing on Rhea Rose Online on the Cole update. If you guys are wondering what has gone on, uh, I hadn't made any videos in ages, so I am just going to do an update video for you guys. Uh, we got four new engines, four new cars, and a bunch of new buildings in the system, and new physics. Uh, I wanted to check a few physics out. Uh, there's just a few issues, but I'm just testing them for the uh, show. Uh, the, um, if you guys like and subscribe, follow me on Discord and Twitch as well. And let's get started. Uh, we are going to be driving the. Uh, let's see, what's your engine? I can't push F anymore. Ruby Basin. Ruby Basin is a tank engine. Uh, I just bought it earlier and it's out of fuel, so I'm going to put the coal in quickly because it, it has the coal. And then we can. Uh, And then the bell, it looks, sounds really, really good. It sounds just like the Climax's bell. And then, if you're wondering what the whistle sounds like, it, it's kind of loud in whatever way. Hang on, let me make sure. Go ahead for the bell to shut off. This thing takes forever to start off. That whistle is way too loud in my ears. Oh my god, I turned my headphones down just a bit for that because that was kind of loud. Because they, uh, they um, put some of the engine's whistles way too loud, so I'm like, mm, I decided just to bring it down. So if you guys want to know what the physics were when you drive it, uh, I think you can see that if I pull forward just a bit here, if I put it in reverse really quickly, it can pull full reg. It does stop like a brake, but it does... It doesn't wheel slip anymore. I'm kind of happy for that because all other engines, the original engines, did that. And now the braking is kind of weird too. Watch this. When I full brake, watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna full brake and reverse, and then I'm gonna full brake at hard brake like this. That's gonna slip. So I don't know why we don't have sanders for this one because we need sanders. I turned the compressor on to make sure it was working. All brakes. And yeah, and the let's go for the next engine. We're gonna go for the the ET280. I put the, the name of the engine right here so I can find it. Let's go ahead and start her up because she is out of steam right now. Let's make sure she's ready. So the ET280. I think it is a Baldwin Works. I think I'm correct. Because I am testing names really quick. I'm not, I hadn't taken any thing on my system in my head right now. I'm not paying attention. So it is a Baldwin Locomotive Works, a model with 1024 1.5E. So if this one uh, has like a ghost whistle to it, uh, I put this smokestack on it because it has a, cl a climax or Heisler's uh, smokestack. This one's got a ghost whistle. Bells is normal from the old engines behind. This one does have the same whistle and bell, but I can't find out what happened. So we're gonna start doing when this bell shuts off, please. was the ET280 whistle so yeah and don't forget they just put a new cookie in two cookie six two sixty coal I don't know why my with my character was going down there same whistle is fine same whistle can't I can't argue with that it's it's I wish you can change the whistle and the bell but Get up here, please. My F button does not want to work. 
for this engine. It does not want to work. Here we go. Jump back in and fuel her up because she's out as well the same way because we haven't even started anything up. And now we got the new engine for... I can't name it. Get the name really well because I'm not looking at my, no my, my instructions. Here we go. Here it is. We are going to go for the 10 mile um, that is made in Mason Machinery Works. It was the Mason Bogey. It has a, it has a six driver configuration driver and six wheel free wheel and a one free wheel in the front. We got a, a hang on, I got a one, no, one, three, uh, we got a seven, we got a 14 wheel configuration. This one's kind of nice. We'll make sure she has steam because she doesn't. These engines don't have steam after the after hadn't touched it. So this one, oh, the lag just started to freak out for me for a second. Uh, it's it just because I'm loading in. And this one, the bell is much different. And I added a new smokestack to it, so it nicely looks nicer. And I added a blue, and I have a blue engine here, but I, I have two blue engines now, finally. So after the bell stops finishing, I'm going to whistle it hard, so it's nice and looks. And then after this, we're going to go look at the buildings. Ten mile. That was the whistle. It sounds like a ghost. That one sounds like a ghost, and I don't know why it sounds like a whistle of a ghost. That's kind of crazy. And now let's go to the buildings. Now I have wait, actually not the buildings. Let's start with the buildings last because I, I, I want to look at that later. So we got a new tank car. I have the where is this called? Is it called the coffin tank car? Yep, it's the coffin tank car. It is a Nevada California Oregon, and it's a model fifty nine. I'm not going to tell about the weight because this thing is like, it's almost the same as the one we have now, but bigger. It's a bigger tank and a bigger car. And I think it's a good idea to have this for oil runs or something. But uh, you need a heavy duty or engine to run these. So I'm going to go to the next car. We're going to have our next car. I'm going to read it. I can't name these really well. Screen it everyone. Uh, we got the... EBT Hopper. This is a Charter Brothers. The builder name for this one is the Charter Brothers. And then we got the model Drop Bottom Hopper. So this thing has a, a tendency to work with the coal, coaling tower. And I think it has the way it drops below underneath the car. I think it does that because I can see all the mechanics in the bottom here. See, there's a bottom down here. I don't even know how this works. I haven't checked it yet. I haven't tested it with the settings yet. So then next we got the new box car. I don't think it's called a box car anymore, but I think it's a stock car. So we got its builder's name is Virginian and Trucky, and it's called the model number name is Stock Car. It was made, and I'm just gonna. It is for doing cattle and stuff now problem is we do not have cattle in the game yet or horses nor anything else this is gonna be using for like the boxes and stuff that we do at the ironworks this is designed to do the same thing as the box car does it has a kind of a weird you can hear the sliding action I don't have the sound up all the way but it shows you all the links there's a lot of colors with this model it all these I'll show you the colors in a minute because there's a bunch. Now we've got the new slog car. This one is the skeleton car. Builder name for the builder that built this car is the Russell Wheel and Foundry. The model is called the log flat, but it's called the skeleton flat. This is a smaller version of the um, log car to th that we have in the game right now. 
And then I have no other other new cards exactly. These four new cards are the best cards I've got. And then now let's go to the buildings next. Now, the calling tower. For that new hopper right there, we have to roll the hopper over here over the middle of this thing here to the chute. And then it will just fill the the um the calling tower. Now it says 20 on this side, but don't let the other eyes fool you. This has it tends to have more. There is a 120 holding cell in it as well. So now when this fills, you can fill your steam engines up here. So next, I'm going to show you one thing that's cool. You can actually climb the ladder. So I I had to go slow because my speed's on. Yeah, it kind of goes too fast. It needs to go slower. See, look, I can, I can stand on the ladder like this. Now you can get really good railroad shots up here in the air without using fly with the Korea, with the railroad online extended. But it's uh it's better just to get good shots from here. You can take pictures. And I'm just gonna drop back. Ooh, ooh, let's get some speed. And then there's a few other things I want to show you. Uh, let's get the facility. We got two new water towers. Water tower one and two here are exactly the same as the old one, but the old one does not have a ladder on it to climb onto, but they forgot to put the ladder on it. So these two have ladders. This one's almost the same thing as this one with the ladder, but this one has a ladder with a different kind of a uh, loading feature. So I'm going to show you this one quickly, because this is a smaller spigot. And I got it confusing. Wait, is he like, I was like, how is this going to fill if it's like not working right now? So. I'm going to show you that right here in a second. So this is why I'm going to go to the, I'm going to, you can climb up here now on this one. So you can climb up here and there is now a small wheel up here, like a little let go or for the water. You can turn it on to open the faucet. Now this won't waste your water as much as you open and close it. It just shuts it down and then you can just close it. This is for a smaller tank engine. So you might have to have this for the tank engine itself because it's the smaller. It's, it's maybe for that one right there because I can guess. And this one's just for regular engines like this one we're climbing. And next we'll go toward. I gotta do, uh, go to. Yeah, here's the Cohen Tower. It, yeah, it, when you look, your camera just changes. So I'm just gonna. I am not supposed to go there. I'm supposed to go to the facilities. And then we got a new engine shed. We got a bunch of colors for the uh, new engine shed. We call it the engine shed number two, but they didn't say number one. So we got here's the original one with the with doors. And here's the other one without the doors. This one you can just roll back out and go the other direction, come around, and you can have at least one or two engines in here to run your layout, your little railroad if you want, or make a little short line and keep it there. So. That might be it, I bet. Let me check. Cause, oh yeah, there's one more thing they added. I forgot. I forgot they added one more thing to this game. They have added a new switch to the game. This one's kind of confusing because I didn't notice this thing before because I thought this was supposed to be a one-piece thing, but it's not. So this switch is a three... What's the name of the switch? We got the stub switch three-way. Oh, we got the one with the uh, no ballast and left ballast. What the heck? I don't even get it. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about that. So this has ways well, you got three-way track. You can make a yard with this one nice and easy without any issue. Without having to make more switches over there like I put over the net yard. You can actually use this switch that has three and one switch. Now you can go to the middle, you put it full straight right here, that goes to the middle. Full left means the right side. If they didn't do it right, they must have filled it wrong. When you go all the way to the right, you can actually go to the left. I mean I don't know why it's doing that. That's kind of needs to be a, it needs to be reinverted because I don't know how that's working. I don't know how these things these engines are gonna handle on these little lips right here, like these little lips they left behind right here. I don't know why it's supposed to be intact with the with the whole track itself. So that's all of the um, the railroads online uh, coal update uh, on this one. 
I'm going to be doing a live stream after I edit this video out. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys like and subscribe, make sure those notifications are on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!